Hello, you wonderful, beautiful people of the internet. Ooh, welcome back. My name is Tierra. My channel's Tierrasaurus Rex, and I am here playing Little Hope. Um, I missed one little bit that she said. She asked, where have you been, Daniel? <laughs> He's been back in time, just thought I'd tell you. What is wrong with you? Talk, tell her. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Yes. Very intuitive. No, they could not see and hear you. They could not. I saw John and Angela. You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. John saw her? Now you've seen her too? Who in the hell is this damn woman who looks like me? You. It's you. Jeez. I thought the professor was blowing smoke up our asses with his Angela twin story. No. Guess not. <sighs> I saw Angela arrested. It doesn't matter if you're heard. Well, lookalike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl. Oops, sorry. She gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. This is ridiculous. There are no witches, never have been. What kind of people accuse others of that kind of crap? A little Woman, girl who's scared Amy. for her life. I guess she's in deep shit then. Amy, <sighs> that's the little girl. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Oh no, bruh. That's a zombie. That is a zombie, sir. Wait, okay, but she was in- she was speaking to, like, demons in the back. I remember seeing the clawed hand above Amy's head. So, what she said is, I think you're right about my family. What do you think? Um, let's look around. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still M.I.A. in the woods. No, they're in, you guys something are in the woods. Up. Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. I'm sure that's what it is. No, okay, so this, this guy does look different from the priest. The priest is a character we haven't seen yet. I just looked at a side profile versus there's what the priest was. Here someplace. No. Oh, it just fell out. That didn't spook me. Let's get some more spooks. You hear knocking? I hear knocking. That's spooky. Old witch gal. Built 1684. Nice. Demolished 1783. In 1692, during the Little Hope witch trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Hey, hey dude, I don't like you making those sounds. If that's you knocking... Because the knocking was coming from that way. But then I hear somebody walking around behind me this way. Alright, let's go up to the picture. Keep looking. So he's the one that's on this side. The other side, the knocking was not him. Certificate of com Commendation. Township of Little Hope. Presented to the Little Hope Police Department. On January 16, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, the officers, with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost as they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police, and a grateful public thank the police department for their continued dedication to service. April 4, 1972, Samuel A. Carver, Mayor. So, they didn't save anyone. Everybody did, in fact, die. Including my boy here. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Aha! Uh -huh. Somebody cut that. Rip. Wait, before we go and open any doors, we're not gonna open doors yet, we're gonna look for clues. Bro, why did you do that? There's gotta be something. Shut up. Nobody cares. We have a winner. Found a phone. 
Did I really? This could be our way out. Wait. It's not gonna work, is it? There's no power. Mine's dead. <coughs> Bro. Chill the fuck out. Shit! Oh my god! You have some Whoa. serious anger issues. Hey. Take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Oh. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Damn, I do not like this guy whatsoever. Touch the box. What's in the box? A moon. TC. So there's... I'm guessing TC is probably the boyfriend. Because they said, oh, he's the one who's into the New Age stuff. That was blatantly stated in the game. Which, you know, calling it the, as I did, that Vince is in fact TC. I'm going to put two and two together and say they're the same person and move along with my life. That's it. I avoided that door for just it to be locked. Yeah, okay. So. Reynolds. Excuse me? There's no line. Um, don't answer it. Hey, I was trying to look at the Reynolds thing. Don't answer it. What do you think? Don't answer it. Answer it. No. Let's think about this. Wait. Let's think about this. Oh my god. I literally told you not to. Hello? Who is this? I'm, I'm gonna say nothing. Let him let him talk on the phone for a second. Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. What the f ah! Is that Angela again? <sighs> okay, I see somebody next to Oh, there's the, there's the girl. She, I bet she's been accused as well. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? What is the secret? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things? Then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Did nobody Lord else hear that? Pin. Didn't sound like a very holy thing to do. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. Oh my God, what the hell? They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God. I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Stay quiet. We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. That is you. You see that? That is you. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Should I approach the people on the stand or the people to the side? I'm gonna 
Approach the people on the side. I beg you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Okay, leave her alone. I'm going to get in between it again. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. So they can hear us, but they can't see us. Master, can I help we you can now? touch them. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hole? <laughs> oh, wait Take a second. Pray. The devil is here in this very room. <gasps> she won. Protect she did yourself. a smile. Seek Was that a smile? What? Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? Mmm. That's the girl I saw in the woods. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Yes, sir. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I mean, she is just a kid, but she did smile at the end. I just, I really want to give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Come on. She's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Okay, Andrew thought that Mary was just a kid and couldn't be blamed for the result of the trial. I really... That was probably the wrong thing. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, <laughs> she seemed like she saw us. And Angela. so did some of the others. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. Um... What do you mean, back at the intersection? Wait a second. Oh, so that's Angel. I see what he means. Okay. So, she was in deep shit. She was in deep shit. And she knew it. It was tough to watch. Bruh. I knew I heard knocking. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? What the Come hell? Come on. Let's go. How did you guys get over there? Wait, I wanted to touch the stuff in the locker. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either. They must be locked. I already knew that. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Cool. How did you guys get over here, though? Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I know what happened. 
That other version of me was arrested, charged with witchcraft. Yes, we know that. She stood trial and was condemned for witchcraft. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? Yeah. I, I like the idea. If I were you too. But how would we even begin to find that out? Go do more spooky stuff. We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. Which one? What the hell? Wait, I wanted to touch the thing. Let me touch the stuff. Allow me allow me to go and find my clues. What? Is this is issue? fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Uh it's building something. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. I agree. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. I agree. You know, you all did burn alive last time. she what the hell does it mean that she's here all right this actually let me finish this conversation she has to be a manifestation you mean the reason she's here is because you're here you got a better explanation i don't have an explanation john says which trials really happened right here in little hope he's right i think they did then that woman was on trial hundreds of years before i got here so how can I be manifesting her? Reincarnation? Reincarnation? Why not? You came back here because of her, because you once were her. And the rest of us? We're all reincarnated from these people and we happen to be at the same college on the same bus trip here? Like I said, I don't have an explanation. I'm just guessing is all. All right, is that it? Oh god, I'm gonna place John next. Disgusting. Alright, that is all I will do for this episode. I will see you in the next one.